So when you initially put it, it will be not applicable because there was no employee ID entered. But after you enter an employee ID, it will then display. Now, there is an improvement that you can make to this process. And the improvement is this. Select this data set, whatever the data set you have. And what is the keyboard shortcut to create a table? Remember? Keyboard shortcut to create a table. Control T. Very good. Control T. Okay. And you hit enter. And this converts into a table. Do you guys know what is the name of this table? Okay. Very good. So it's your first table. So you see table one. For me, I created several tables. So this is table seven for me, right? And where can you see the table name? In the design tab, in the top left corner, you see what? Table. Now, where it says table one or whatever, you can change the table names too. So for example, I want my table to be called EMP data. So I, do, I can type EMP data and hit enter, and now that becomes the name of my table. You can, you can change the table name to whatever name you want. Done? <clears throat> now, the benefit of doing that is, let's go back to the formula. Instead of saying A1 to B9, you can now say amp data. Right? Oops. Amp data. That's the name of your table. So this helps you from having to select a long range of cells. What if your sheet has a thousand rows? Instead of saying like, you know, A1 colon F1000, you can just give your table a name and then you can just call it by that name. It does exactly the same thing. 